Beneficiaries of Social Security, how would you react if I told you that for more than 20 years, the benefits you have worked your entire life for and paid into with each and every paycheck have been being stolen from you without your knowledge, right in front of your own eyes? Doesn't that sound simply unbelievable? Is it possible that our government could allow such a huge injustice to occur to millions of Americans who have worked hard and played by the rules? Dear everyone, and thank you for joining us here at Stimulus Updates. In order to obtain the most recent information and updates regarding economic stimulus measures, you will go to channel. Today, I am Ali, your host, and I am pleased to inform you of some exciting new developments that have occurred. However, before we get into the changes for today, make sure that you click the button to subscribe and that you set on the notification bell so that you are never left without an update on anything that has to be stimulated. During these trying times, we are here to keep you informed and to give you the power to make decisions. Let's get right down to business, shall we? In the event that you are retired on disability, a survivor of the Social Security Disability Insurance Act, SSDIA, or a beneficiary of Social Security income, SSI, I have some mind-blowing news that will directly affect millions of you. You should brace yourselves because the numbers that I'm about to present are really mind-boggling. All right, let's get down to the nitty-gritty of these mind-boggling particulars. Have you prepared yourself for some truth bombs that will hit you like a ton of bricks? Simply because the truth is that the amount of money you receive from Social Security each month is not sufficient to cover the actual cost of living. The opposite is true. Between the meager adjustments or COLAs that you are receiving for the cost of living and the actual soaring expenses that the majority of you are facing with, there is a vast gaping chasm that exists between the two parties. In addition, I'm referring to the costs of necessities such as food, utilities, rent, groceries, transportation, and medical care. Take a look at this disturbing statistic that spans the years 2000 to 2022 which is more than 20 years. Around 78% of the benefits provided by Social Security were enhanced. At first glance, you could be thinking, hey, that's not necessarily a terrible thing. Having a boost of 78% is not bad at all, but you should just wait till you hear the other side of this equation that will blow your mind. Have you fastened fasteners? Mainly due to the fact that during the same 22-year period, the prices of those essential commodities and services that I described earlier did not simply increase. They went up by an astounding 141% in terms of EXPLODED. Give that a moment to marinate in the sauce. Although there was a slight increase of 78% in benefits, there was a significant increase of 141% in expenses. It is necessary for us to inquire about the factors that are preventing them from moving forward. Does it have anything to do with political calculations in advance of elections, their own personal objectives, or the philosophy of their party? Alternatively, there may be apprehension that the enhanced COLAs could result in the Social Security Trust Fund being depleted even more precipitously. No matter what the obstacles are, they need to be removed as quickly as possible. For the simple reason that this is not some hypothetical financial problem. To the tens of millions of people who are watching, this is an emergency that is very obvious and very current, and it poses a threat to both your quality of life and your financial independence. Take a look at the highest possible level of federal SSI benefits for the year 2023. A pitiful $914 per month is given. This is far lower than the federal poverty level, which is set at $1,215 for a person. Is the supplemental security income SSI program genuinely living up to its initial anti-poverty aims anymore? This is a complicated subject that we need to explore. Or do we merely give that mission a superficial level of importance? I am not here to take a partisan political stance or to stir up controversy. So please allow me to clarify. In spite of this, we cannot afford to remain silent on this extremely important matter any longer. When they eventually reached retirement age, hardworking Americans have been contributing to the social security system year after year after year, 
with the expectation that it would provide them with a secure foundation upon which to build their retirement. It was promised to the beneficiaries that the costs would be adjusted in a reasonable manner. However, as the astounding evidence demonstrates, this has not been the case for more than 20 years now. We require genuine, comprehensive solutions, not patchwork, one-time quick fixes that continue to leave millions of people behind. A straightforward modification to the more precise CPIE could have been implemented and ought to have been implemented back in the year 2000 when this concerning trend was already plainly clear. The lack of action is not an acceptable justification in any way. In spite of the fact that a significant revamp or a rise in benefits might be too much to aspire for in the near future, significant improvements that bring COLAs in line with reality need to take place right away. Within the context of the national political discourse, our voices need to be amplified. It is imperative that we insist that politicians of all stripes put the welfare of those who are receiving benefits ahead of partisan agendas, pet projects, and ideological turf conflicts. In light of the fact that, at the end of the day, this is about making certain that the credibility and fundamental promise of Social Security are restored for pensioners of both the current generation and those to come in the future. It is about finally getting ahead of this snowballing disaster rather than always playing catch up and putting the most vulnerable people in the United States of America in the ditch. Consequently, there you have it, some harsh reality expressed in numbers that are rather disturbing. I will continue to bring you additional data and updates as I obtain them if you are interested. On the other hand, for the time being, Make sure that you hit the like button if you would like me to break down the unpleasant truths surrounding this important topic. For the time being, I am your social security truth teller and I am signing off. On the other hand, you can bet that this is just the first salvo of many more battles to come. I am grateful that you watched and I hope to see you again very soon. The video lesson for today has come to an end. When I upload the next video, I shall see you all there. Those who like the video are encouraged to subscribe to the channel so that they can see further videos in the future.